This is Twit. BlackBerry had mostly horrible news in Q3 2014's earnings report. The company lost $4.4 billion U.S., about four times last quarter's Q3 loss, and recognized revenue on 1.9 billion BlackBerry handsets compared to 3.7 million handsets a year ago. Good news came from growth in the newly formed enterprise services, messaging, and QNX Embedded Divisions, the devices division, will gain a new partner, too. BlackBerry announced that they will partner with Foxconn to create handsets, starting with a 3G BlackBerry 10 handset to launch in March or April 2014, starting in Indonesia. The European Commission says that the proposals Google has laid out to end its ongoing antitrust case based on claims that it restricts competition on its own services just aren't good enough. Speaking to the Spanish radio station Radio Nacional de España, Competition Commissioner Joaquin Almunia said the latest proposals are not acceptable in the sense that they are not proposals that can eliminate our concerns regarding competition. Meanwhile, Google's also been fined 900,000 euros for breaking Spanish data protection laws and the maximum fine allowable and imposed after Google changed its privacy policy and started combining personal info across online services. Google's latest transparency report of requests for removal of entries from search shows that government takedown requests rose 68% in the first half of 2013 compared to the first half of 2012. Russia and Turkey led the way in increases, though the U.S. still holds the crown for most requests. Google says they removed less than a third of the content requested. Meanwhile, Verizon announced Thursday it will join the transparency bandwagon as much as it's allowed to do and publish the number of law enforcement requests it received in 2013, starting next year. The new Mac Pro officially went on sale yesterday, December 19th, with a shipping date of December 30th, 2013. However, within mere hours, those ship dates slipped to February and soon after that, customers started seeing shipping quotes all the way out to March. Apple stores have already been giving Mac Pro quotes and processing orders for business accounts since the start of this week, which is probably contributing to the shortage. And Apple stores seem to be taking orders for personal pickup, but not for walk-in purchases. So I guess what I'm saying is good luck with that. Yeah, good luck with that. Daniel Gherkin, A.D. Shamir, the S in RSA, and Aaron Tromer have demonstrated a successful side channel attack against 4,096. 6-bit RSA by listening to sounds in the 10 to 150 kilohertz range made by a computer as it decrypts data. Their method only works on the new PG 1.X implementation of RSA within four meters of the target computer. Uh, so time to bring some white noise generators with you to the coffee shop, I guess. Is that what I'm hearing in the background? White noise? Shh. Hello! Retro. Spotify has released a Windows-only Winamp lookalike music streaming player called Spottyamp. See what they did there? It requires a Spotify premium subscription to access, but it has some old-school controls, an eject button, for example. You can double-click double on a track to play it, click the O button or right-click in the window to bring up a settings menu, paste a link to a Spotify playlist on the main win window using Control-V, and so on. Very cute. Yeah, cute little thing. Hey, News Corp has also acquired the cute little thing called Storyful, not Storify, Storyful, which describes itself as the world's first social news agency. News Corp paid 18 million euros for Storyful. Storyful will continue as a standalone organization within News Corp and retain its clients like the BBC, New York Times, ABC News. The site collects independent reports and verifies them and has created 750 million views over the last year for its clients who use its videos. That according to the next web. Sources tell All Things D that ARM server chipmaker Calzada has shut down. The company was founded in 2008 and amassed a team of 125 employees, many of whom appear to be losing their jobs. The sources note that companies interested in ARM-based servers, such as Dell and HP, could be sniffing out patent acquisitions from Calzada. Former Electronic Arts Senior VP David Demartini will head up Oculus Rift's new game publishing arm, which will try to help developers get additional resources to help them achieve their vision. And Gadget's Ben Gilbert guesses that probably means mostly money. Demartini helped uh, shepherd third-party developers when at EA as part of the EA Partners program. The Oculus Rift headset is scheduled to launch in 2014. 
In news that's going to sound a lot like running in circles, AOL is wrapping up a sale of Winamp and Shoutcast, which would keep both products alive, a source tells TechCrunch, which is also owned by AOL. AOL announced last month that Winamp web services would shut down and the desktop version of the video and music player would no longer be available for download as of today. Then TechCrunch reported that Microsoft was in talks to buy both Winamp and Shoutcast, also owned by AOL. An AOL spokesperson declined to comment. <laughs> That's that poor llama. It's not going to get out of its whipping. <laughs>